Welcome to a tutorial with Triple R Investigations for Scenes to Go. On this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to apply your project to Scene to Go for others to view. So, your first item is to go into your Scenes to Go and go to your Project tab, and down here you'll find Path. The left mouse click on your Path. It'll take you to the location where all your files are being stored for this project. Under this, you need to go to folder, new folder, and create a scene to go folder. And if you'll notice, I've already done it here. So when you get in there, you retype it and you'll have, end up with this scenes to go folder. So once you've done that, that's where we're going to store our files later. You can get out of that window, go back to your scenes to go under your app option here on your top ribbon. Hit the uh, application and it will give you these options here. We're looking for the scene to go downloaded into your apps. Click that down arrow under create, you click on create your first option, it will create the files uh, that we want to do. We've already created those on this project and it's got some changes so we're going to save it and it's going to go to your window to create the location. If you got clipping boxes, you may want to apply your clipping boxes to your scene to go. On this one it's got some um, grayscale options for slide to stop on the roadway so I want to export those grayscales into this project under your project settings you can go into the images you can change your image for the project um, under this browser button and that will represent your project then you're going to hit export and it's going to export all these files um, into your project location uh, for the next step I've already done that. It takes about five or six minutes, so we're going to shorten this video up for you. So we're going to export that. Once you export it, when you get finished, you'll come back to this window. We'll go back to Scenes to Go, your down arrow, and we're going to go to Transfer. Your Transfer is asking you for your destination folder. Uh, we're going to go into that. Remember, we looked at the projects before and created that Scene to Go folder. That's where we're going to go now. You go to Browse. We're going to find that folder. And then now we're at the scene to go folder under that project where we had located it. And now it's under that folder here. We hit OK. So now our scene to go data is going to go into that scene to go folder. And then we're going to hit transfer data. We're going to get this box, going to show you what size and everything it's going to be transferred. Uh, this will be a couple of minutes, a lot faster than your first creating the data, um, since it's just going to transfer that file for you. And it's going to continuously give you your options on when to finish. So now that it's you know, set next window is your results, it's successful, um, gives you files that it's created and then if you want to check it out you can go to the open scene to go, click on that with your left mouse button it's going to show us our scene to go situation. On the scene to go on the uh, lollipops, if you left mouse on that it gives you the view option, 3D option and uh, if you have properties or if you have any annotations in there. So if we click on that then it gives us our 360 view and on this I had most of the color turned off so it's in grayscale so we can see the roadway markings better and uh, so from here let's talk about annotations these are the annotations if you click on that it gives you the same type of options but it also gives you an open link option so that will give us our first picture. 
you can also go into view and then in the view option it'll give us this and this show properties option will give you all the pictures that are downloaded into that spot and then we can look at some detail in your scene to go uh, great option to improve your pictures and to show some detail especially if you got a lot of damage to show in the 3d views um, sometimes don't catch it all so that's the basics on the scene to go and the only other thing would be is if you want to um, transfer that to USB you could do it in two different processes um, you could have changed your folder to the USB or you can go to your project itself under that scene to go and this scene to go file if we look at it now it's got all the files needed so if I wanted to do scene to go I hit alt a correction control a and it highlights everything right mouse that and I can hit copy and then I can go to my USB and paste it to the USB file so very good um, use of uh, you seen to go to show other customers and show them what you have scanned for them um, and they don't have to use uh, the scene software that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.